Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we pretty much have you covered. So as we're getting down to the last month of the NBA season, the playoff situation is becoming more in, into focus with more emphasis on each game heading forward. So we're going to take a look at some games for April the 25th. But before we do so, I want to invite you to join and you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section right here to help make your picks every time. So, we're going to take a look at some of these matchups. Uh, through here, Boston and Charlotte, Phoenix and Brooklyn. This is the, maybe the headline game of the week. The Suns come in with the second best record in the Western Conference, and the Nets are second in the Eastern Conference. Phoenix is burning hot on the team strength oscillator. And the uh, Nets are averaged down. And the power rankings indicator, you will notice that the Suns are at plus 26 and the Nets are at plus 21. Look at the totals predictor, you can see that Phoenix is trending over the line at the moment, and Brooklyn is also trending in games over the line. Take a look at the volatility odds or how consistent have the two teams been according to the favorite underdog status. You can see right now that both teams are on the climb in, in that category with the Suns and Nets right around the same thing. Plus 13 for the Suns and plus 12 for the Nets. So take a look at their favorite underdog status. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You can see that Brooklyn won the last game as a road underdog by a 128 to 124 margin. If you take a look at the Z code scores predictor, which I'm going to show you right here, let's scroll down here, and you, uh, this is uh, baseball. Let's go to NBA, and we're going to go to NBA for the 25th, and you will see the score of predictions right here. You can see the prediction right here: the Phoenix Suns and Brooklyn Nets scores predictor shows Phoenix with a 102 to 98, or excuse me, 97 score prediction with a confidence of 77.29%. So what that means is I think uh, even though that the Suns will probably be a slight home favorite, let's go with the Suns to win the game. Memphis Grizzlies and the Portland Trailblazers. Memphis is currently 8th in the Western Conference, and Portland is 6th in the Western Conference. The Grizzlies have a plus 15 to plus 14 advantage on the power ranking indicator, as you see right here. Although Memphis is on a downward trend, they were as high as plus 23. Just a few days ago. Look at head to head matchups, you see the teams have not yet played this season. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that Memphis is playing in games trending well over the line. Portland is playing in games trending well under the line, so it's best to avoid the over under in that scenario. If you want to see how consistent the two teams have been according to their favorite and underdog status, which is something that we always do, Portland is plus 14. And Memphis is plus 12, so both teams are showing moderate to very high stability. You want to take a look at what you think the teams will do as far as the final score goes, which we always like to do as well, because that's our point right here. We're going to take a look again at the uh, scores predictor. So, Memphis here, Portland. You see here that right now we were thinking that Memphis is going to win this by a 106 to 101 score with a fairly high probability of confidence of 79%. So that means I think we should go with that scenario, and that will be the outcome. Okay, so Cleveland and Washington, we're not really going to take a look at that game. That one's not as relevant as some of the other ones for this week. Milwaukee and Atlanta. Now this one's going to be a very good matchup. The Milwaukee Bucks and Atlanta Hawks both coming in at burning hot. The Bucks have the third best record in the Eastern Conference, and the Hawks are fifth in the conference. Look at the power rankings indicator. You can see Atlanta has a plus 22 to plus 19 edge. Just before a while ago, or most of the time, you can see in the past, you can see that it was Milwaukee with the advantage, but that has changed at the moment. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You see what's happened. The Bucks have won both meetings, and they've won very convincingly, too, by a 14-point margin and a, an 11-point margin. Look at the totals predictor. 
you can see that Milwaukee is trending in games under the line. Atlanta is trending in games under the line. So the under is going to be probably the very good bet in this one. Look at the consistency factor of the two teams. You see, look at this. Plus 20 for both teams. That It's a very good indication that they're performing according to their favorite underdog status. So let's take a look at what we expect for this one. What do we expect? Well, you can see with the way the two teams are, close in the standings, both burning hot. You will expect a close game, and that's what the scores predictor is showing as well. If you look here at the scores predictor, look at this. Milwaukee and Atlanta, it's as tight as it can be. We are thinking that Milwaukee is going to win by the slimmest margins in overtime with an 82% confidence. So go with Milwaukee in this one. Indiana and Orlando. The Magic are going nowhere as next to last in the conference, and they're dead up at the moment. But the Pacers have a chance at the playoffs. They are ninth in the conference right now, and they are average up. If you look at the power ranking indicator, Indiana has a plus 8 to plus 1 edge in that category. Head-to-head -head for the season, you see that Indiana has won both meetings, but they've both been close. A 2-point win at home and a 5-point win on the road. Favorites in both cases. Look at this, the uh, totals predictor. You see that Indiana is playing in games trending over the line. And Orlando also playing in games trending over the line. So that would be a good indication to bet the over. We're going to take a look at the scores predictor in a moment. But first, the volatility oscillator to check the consistency factor. You can see Orlando is extremely consistent at plus 27. Doesn't mean they're good. It means that they are performing according to their favorite underdog status. And in most cases, they are the underdog. And losing. Again, let's take a look at the scores predictor for this one. And we can go up down here and we can see we're predicting Indiana by a 110 to 102 margin with 72% confidence. So there you go. We will go with Indiana to come away with the win and they will cover the spread. Finally, we have the Kings and the Warriors. The Kings are dead and 12th in the conference. The Warriors are burning hot at the moment and ninth in the conference looking for a playoff spot. The Warriors have a plus 17 to plus 3 advantage on the power ranking indicator. Head-to-head -head matchup, you will notice that the Sacramento Kings actually won the last game. And over the last four games, they're even up at 2-2. Two and two. How consistent have the two teams been? Let's take a look at the... Volatility oscillator and both teams have been performing consistently according to their favorite under, under underdog stats. You can see that as plus 16 for the Warriors and plus 12 for the Kings. Clearly, the Warriors will be a favorite at home. They're the much better team. Let's see what our scores predictor shows. And you can see here that a 109 to 100 advantage for the Warriors with a 65% probability. That's the lowest probability of all the the games here, but still a fairly good probability here, almost two-thirds probability for the Warriors to win. We are going to go with that, and we think the Warriors will come out with the victory. So there you have it. Those are all the games for this week that we're going to take a look at. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.